this push is that you can take Gatorade, you can take Nestle's Milo, and then if you're exercising, you're fine. No, 90%, 80 to 90% of your body shape is what you put in, and drinks laden with sugar or artificial sweeteners are gonna mess up your body and significantly increase your odds of premature aging. Um, exercise is actually the secondary thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, but let's go on to the right exercise. So the right exercise, we, we talked about it. I mean, you've got your, your slow movement, uh, doing body weight exercise, lifting heavy right. things, and just doing it for a brief period until you can't do it again. And the body says, oh, I guess I should be ready to go at intensity. And this is why jogging doesn't work. Right. Animals who are resilient and survive, they can go in one step from your heart's beating and moving a little bit of blood to there's a tiger. And then one beat of the heart creates a huge amount of blood volume and you run and you survive. When you jog all the time, you train the heart to instead always go blip, blip, blip to little bits of blood. And then if there's a tiger, oh, the heart will just beat faster, which is not effective. This is a stressed heartbeat. So what you're doing when you lift heavy things or when you sprint every now and then is you're telling the body, the parts of you that cannot bring it right now at full speed, get out of dodge and get replaced by young things. And this is the same mechanism as intermittent fasting, and it's the same mechanism as cold showers. All right, and this is why super slow strength training or Tabata works. Yes, exactly, that's why. But here's why this matters for you. You can save hours every week, and this is hours of time and all of the effort that went into exercise that wasn't fun and didn't feel good and made you tired and hungry afterwards that didn't create the biological results you wanted. There's an ROI on what you put on your plate. There's an ROI on how you exercise and move. And the I, the investment you're making on it, is an investment of number one, your energy, number two, your time, and number three is actually dollars. And a lot of the stuff is free. Like, right. Let's talk about showers. Okay. Now, these cells in your body, the mitochondria, the first thing they do is they make heat. So we're not reptiles, so we make our own heat. What happens if at the end of your hot shower you put cold water on your forehead and your chest? Within about eight seconds, you'll get a strong signal from your body that says, I'm going to die and you're gonna jump out of the water. Now, here's the thing, you're not gonna die. You know you're not gonna die, but your body tells you that very strongly, and you'll get out. But if you do it again the next morning, you're gonna last for about 30 seconds, and the next morning, maybe 50 seconds, and all of those times you're gonna be saying, Dave Asprey's a jerk, and this is uncomfortable. But the fourth day, something magic happens, and you can Google this, it's called cardiolipin. And after three days of continuous cold exposure for just one minute, or as close as you can get, mm -hmm. your cell membranes shift to contain more cardiolipin, which allows them to make heat more effectively and to run more efficiently. And what this means is that the mitochondria that are so weak that they can't make heat quickly, they get a signal that says die. And your body makes new young mitochondria. So, and this is why cold showers yeah, are so effective. One minute. Right. And if you're worried about the cost, well, you didn't have to heat the water. So you probably saved a half a cent every morning you did this. And yeah. it causes a certain rush in you. What is that? Well, part of it is that simply all of the blood leaves, uh, leaves your mm -hmm. skin and goes to keep your organs warm. So you get a concentration of oxygenation awesome. there. Awesome. And probably some adrenaline to keep you warm. Awesome. Now, if you if you find cold showers interesting, uh, feel free to Google that. Um, there's a lot more. There's a lot more science and research and ideas and tips on that.